What's up dudes and dudes to the year and I'm my name is Seth and today we're going to be playing the Don't Knock Twice demo. So this is going to be another horror VR game. Strap yourselves in because I'm probably going to get really, really terrified because I love horror VR. Like seriously, I really, really do. What the? Okay. I can't really see like it's really, really dark for me. I think these are supposed to be cages. Honestly, I can't really tell. Is there a way that I can not teleport? Press the grip button to grab the note from the locker door or something. Okay, I'll teleport closer. Hello. One knock to wake her from her bed. I want to point out that in VR, like it's a little bit blurry when I look at these things, as opposed to what you're all seeing, it's probably really, uh, yeah. Uh, wake her from her bed with one twice to, huh? Twice to wake her from the dead. Grab the knocker and knock the door. Okay. Cool, I'm not afraid. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Did it work? Are they letting me in? Oh, cool. Hey. Oh, look. Hey, Graham Gams. Yeah, I said Graham Gams. Dude, this is so cool. Huh? What? Hello? My controller is vibrating because there's a phone going on. There we go. I don't like that I can't move my character. Hello? What? Oh, it's a text. I can't read that. Leave the doors open. Don't close the doors. Okay. Your phone is now in your pocket. You can grab it at any time. What doors? Huh? What door? You mean that door over there? All right, I'll just teleport over. Not like it's a problem for me. Hello? <laughs> Stupid doorway. Why is it so dark? I can't see anything. Is there a candle or something around here that I can use? Okay, I get it. Stop calling me. Like, come on. Can I use this? Where's, where's the light? Where's the light? Yeah, useless. Hello? Pick. Pick up. Adjust your eyes, you idiot. On my screen, I can't see. Pick up the something to illuminate. What? Oh, gosh. Like, it's so blurry on my screen, dude. Candlestick. Candlestick? Stop calling me. Light the candle in the fire. Yeah, I get it. I don't know where the candle is, though. What candlestick? What is he talking about? It's so dark. Like, for me, I can't see anything. Oh, dude. Forget the candlestick. I got you now. All right, where is it? Where's the monster? Huh? I'm ready. Let's teleport over here. Is that the candlestick right in front of my face? It's so dark, dude. Like, I came and... Ugh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. All right, you're going down, Buster. Hawk, in thine beauteous image. Stupid old woman. Hey, is that boots? <gasps> I want to use the shoes. I want to grab the coat. I want to grab any of this stuff. <laughs> oh, it hurts my hands. Okay, uh, do they want us to leave now? I, I hear people. How do I leave? I don't know what's going on, dude. I hear a I hear a bell, like the bell tolls for thee going on. But I can't. What am I supposed to do? Cell phone. Light the candle in the fire. Yep, I already got that one. Alright, let's just pretend that I smashed it. Hey look! It's my, oh, 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 oh. demon chair. <laughs> that's cool. I like walking around. Oh, that's freaky. I like walking around with the candle and stuff. Like that's actually really cool. Okay. We... What? Use the. <sighs> 
Use the axe to destroy the door. It's so difficult to see what he's saying, man. But at least I was on to something. Apparently I was doing it the right way. Yeah! Gah! Ha! Here's Johnny! Ah, oh, you stupid demon! Go away! <laughs> I, I jump scared myself! <laughs> Can I shove the rest of the door open? Come on! <sighs> okay, what are you saying now? The axe isn't working. Find another way to break the door. Okay. I don't know what is it what does it mean find another way to break the door. Oh we got something on our Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what? I get it. Yeah. Shut up, cell phone. Don't try this at home, kids! Hee hee! Die door! She was reaching behind me. That was really, really scary. What? 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 Thanks for playing the full game come. Look, we've got a secret text going on right here that I can't read. That's it! <laughs> I mean, I guess it, oh, I kind of misplaced myself there, so I hope I was still on camera. Ow! I thought, what? What just happened? Did the game close? Okay, we just got thrown back to Steam VR for some reason. Whatever. Well, that was actually really cool. Um, only, only like a couple scares there, honestly speaking. Um, still really interesting though. Definitely looking forward to the full game. If, uh, if I can get my hands on it, maybe I'll end up doing a longer video, but we'll see. That, that was still pretty cool. Like I liked how we had to chop down the door. I liked how we got to actually use physics and stuff in the environment. However, Again, I'm going to brighten it up in editing as much as I can, but for me, it was legit, like almost pitch black. And as far as a horror game is concerned, while the creature was really cool, like I think, I think they did something really interesting where rather than most other horror games having kind of eerie backgrounds and sound effects and stuff, what this one did very well because it's in VR was it just kind of had a more natural sound of a silent house kind of makes you feel like you're in that environment, which I thought was really interesting because then it's like, you know, then it's like when the jump scare actually ends up happening or when you see the demon, then it's like that much scarier because it feels so out of place, you know what I mean? But uh, as, as for the other aspects of the game that I just have an issue with with VR in general, is that, yeah, well, I'm sure when I'm looking at this video and editing, you can probably as clear as day see the uh, text messages and stuff like that that were actually on the screen. But I've noticed that as I've been playing some more VR games is that for me, it's actually really, really difficult to see. Now, there, there's actually just in closing thoughts here, because I thought, why not ramble about this? Because I want the opportunity to talk about it. Uh, there's a little knob right here on the VR headset that lets you kind of adjust like the spacing between the lenses. Uh, it's kind of like to separate them or bring them closer to, of course, help with your vision in the games and stuff like that. But that, that doesn't necessarily, like I've messed with it quite a lot and it hasn't really made that much of a difference as far as seeing things like like if i if i adjust it so that i can see things really close i guess it's kind of the same as like prescription glasses because then i can't see anything far away which i guess you don't really need to and it doesn't really matter as far as the experience is concerned because you folks watching at home, you just get to see the mirrored image. Like, it's perfectly fine. Now, at least they seem to do it right where there wasn't, like, uh, another thing that's very common, uh, I've actually read up about that, that uh, has to do with the developers, whether or not they actually understand certain settings with VR games in the Unreal Engine, because most of these games are made in the Unreal Engine. But I'll actually have certain games, like there's another horror game I'm going to do a video on sometime soon called Obscura, and that one's actually really, really freaky, very, very awesome, but it's one of those games where there's two black bars on the left and right side, which I, I don't really like. There is, the only solution that I know for that 
is the developer themselves have to go into the settings and change a couple things. Uh, the only reason I'm mentioning it is because if any of you watching at home have a VR headset or have watched somebody else that has a VR headset and actually knows a solution to that, I would very much appreciate you letting me know in the comments. But in any case, I've rambled on too much. Thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content, as well as doing any of the stuff that I just mentioned is going to end up building up points that you can actually use on my merch store, which links are in the description for that as well. In any case, sign or and stay epic, everybody.